All right, Fans Farm Life, this is, uh, we're going to make a video on building this solar generator right here. Uh, this is my second one, and uh, it's going to be a three-part series. Uh, we're going to go with building the box itself, then we're going to go with installing components, and then we're going to go with wiring. That'll be the three-part, and then uh, when I get time, we'll do some uh, testing on it. Uh, so let's stay tuned. It's like I said a three-part series break it up. So uh, It's not so long. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Please uh, like and subscribe and uh, Let's take the journey together All right, it depends from life. I'm going to uh, build another solar generator uh, This time I'm going to be using that craftsman uh, Toolbox it's 50 gallon uh, Already started a little bit. I got a little base in there Got some wood cut to go around the top here so I can put another piece of plywood on top. Uh, but before I got too far ahead, uh, I wanted to just get all the components I'm going to be using. Uh, this is has a little handle that comes out so you can carry it around. And then that's uh, what it is if you want to look. I put links to everything in the build videos um, it's gonna be a little bit similar but different with the other one I had I will have three of these I got them right here and this is uh, just your outlet so your 110 and these will plug into the inverter I've got a couple of lights I've got four of these lights uh, last time I put some little lights in the other one. Not too happy with those. I don't need a lot of lighting anyway, but I got these rocker li rock lights. I think I got four of them. Uh, I have a switch or a fuse um, breaker so I can turn. I just use this kind of as a switch to turn on and off the solar panels. Uh, I'll have an on off switch for everything. This is just a marine switch. Um, I'm gonna. This is a, a set. It's got in here. Uh, take these out. It has an on-off switch all on its own, and it's got a. Uh, I think this is just a little 12 volt adapter. A 12 volt adapter, which I'll put one of these in. And I'm not sure what happened. Some kind of meter or something. Maybe this is a USB. This is, uh, yeah, USB and a USB C. And I believe it also is a, a voltmeter and with an on off switch right here. And uh, they all fit into this. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this. I want to put it basically on top right here so it's all right here but there might be some wiring uh, challenges to that so I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not and I do have another one of these uh, 12 volt things I might just throw it somewhere in there too I have a uh, 12 volt fuse box uh, I bought some switches uh, I think for these lights and uh, I got some connectors. These are pretty cool connectors. Uh, not sure how much going to need, but I can buy some more. All right, I got two bus bars. These are, I think, 5 16 posts. And I have uh, two adapters. One will be for the solar panels, and one will be for a uh, regular uh, charger for the batteries. In case of uh, snow sun in the winter time and I can charge this back up and then I have a piece that goes uh, it's an SAE to MC4 connector for the solar panels also have another type of light I'm not sure how I'm gonna put this one on either uh, last time I had some lights on the inside of the box that were really bright kind of blinding I uh, bought this 2000 watt inverter a sign, a pure sine wave Okay, this sine wave, it has uh, three outlets on it and one USB connector. 
And I'm going to use this connector here for these fans. Uh, it's got thermostatically controlled. I'm not sure how I'm going to put these in yet. I haven't really designed where everything is going to go. Uh, and I'm hoping these are a little bit bigger fans as far as airflow goes than the ones that I have in my other one because I really don't think they do anything, honestly. Um, I might even have to switch those out. And then I have just my uh, charge controller, but this is not the one I'm going to use. I actually bought this as a replacement because I want to use walk over here. I'm going to replace it with this one, 30 amp one, mainly because I don't have a lot of room and this one will fit in there. Um, I don't believe I have enough room to stick this one in, so I'm going to swap it out. So these are all my components that I know of. I got a bunch of wire that's not up here that I'll have to use. And the batteries I'll be using are these Eco-worthy uh, 100 amp hour batteries, which I was using in uh, that setup in there. Uh, but I'll hook those up in parallel, so we'll have 200 amp hours. It should be 20 uh, for the solar generator. So I'm going to have one in my barn and one in my garage, so I can take it into the house fairly easily. It's a little heavy, but uh, it's on wheels. So uh, we've had it in there before. So anyway, uh, I'll take you on through the journey. Uh, so just want to get it all out. This is all going to fit into here somehow. And uh, we'll take you on the journey as it goes. Appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll be back when we start putting this thing together. So uh, I'm going to get these slats on. It's just uh, a little difficult to do on the back side, but these kind of line up. There's a little, uh, I don't know, piece up here that the board kind of lines up with. So I kind of lined it up on this side of this corner. They're about the same. I just take this level on here, and then we'll just raise it up till we're level. And then I'll screw it in on that side, and then we'll figure out where they go here. I already got a line, but I think that's wrong. So, put this one on. Just this is the hard side since you got the lid and everything. So, anyway, I guess I'll just run this right here. Maybe I don't see anything. So I'll just get, I'll come back till I get these sides done. All right, I'm cheating a little bit. I just cut a piece of wood, put over these rails. Put it up against there like so and i just drew a line underneath there did it on both sides so that's where this board should go just like that and it will be perfect just like this and it will be perfect all right we'll put this one in i'm using these uh these are one inch roofing nails uh, not that this is going to sit outside but it's built to where it can sit outside. So I'll just stick this on here like so. Just try to try to square it up a little bit. And 
Let's see. Let's, let's take the level. One more plate. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, pretty good. Right there. Right in the middle. All right, we'll get the other one done and uh, we'll come back. All right, he got them all in. And uh, it looked to be somewhat level. Got a bubble there. Bubble there. Bubble there. And bubble there. So we're going to call that good. I'm going to go get a piece of plywood. And uh, I'll start putting in all our uh, our attachments here. Come on, Kyle. Yeah, alrighty. So I got went ahead and got these painted these boards, the top one and the bottom one. Uh, and so I'm going to cut out this little section. I got a line cut down. It's about nine inches, which uh, the batteries here. I need to be able to get the batteries in and out. And so I'm going to cut this off. That way I can remove this piece. If I need to take batteries in and out, I can just remove this piece, uh, pull the batteries out. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that just to cut it. Uh, and then uh, I'll get that cut. And then I got to shore up underneath there where the batteries are going to go. Uh, got to put some stable stabilization so that they don't slide around uh, when you pick this up. The battery's going to go right here. So when you lift it up, you basically got the load right there. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get some cutting done, and uh, then we'll come back. All right, got the piece cut. Batteries are going to go in here. I got them uh, equal space, four inches from this side, four inches from that side. Uh, got this one by two or one by three, whatever this is here, one by two. And I cut a couple of sections and uh, you know, screw it to the bottom right down here to keep it from moving. Uh, and then I have some uh, big L brackets. I'm going to put on the end right here to keep it uh, from sliding that way. Uh, so let me get those cut and uh, we'll come right back. I have to stick the batteries in here, make sure I got this right. Let's stick one in. That seems to be pretty good right there. It's not really going to go anywhere. It moves a little bit. That's okay. And we'll get this one in. Yeah, that's in there. That ain't going anywhere. Okay, that won't go anywhere. Uh, then we'll get the brackets on there. And that way this won't go this way won't tip over this angle brackets go kind of high so it's not going to tip over it's not going to go anywhere it's not going to go this way it's not going to go that way so i think we're good with that uh all right we're going to go ahead and try to get those angle pieces in there and uh we'll see how this looks we'll come back okay uh, I've got this set up down here. I'm going to screw those into the base uh, board and then screw the these angle pieces into that board because I don't this is only uh, the supply wood is only uh, half inch so uh, I want to be able to make it grab. Uh, so we'll go through that piece and then through the plywood and I think we'll be fine. So let's see if I can screw these in without too much issue here. Alright, I'm going to have to come back because i got to move the camera. Alright, we got those in. Now we'll, these will go right here. I lined that up so I wouldn't hit the screw, but of course, I hit the screw. So I'll just slide it over a little bit. And uh, I'll 
going inside. That'll keep that from uh, moving. And uh, I'll still be able to pull them out when needed. So uh, I got a few things I still got to do. And uh, then we'll, we'll be right back. Alrighty. Okay, so uh, this piece right here, um, this bottom piece is floating. It's not anchored to anything on the bottom. The other one of these I made, um, was the box was a different box and it had some uh, little uh, spaces down on the bottom and I was able to put some 2x4 in, screw the 2x4 to the bottom and then screw the plate, or the, the piece of wood to the 2x4. So I don't have that option here. So I'm gonna just take this scrap right here. I glued it to here and to here and this battery fits perfect to hold it up against there. So it'll dry tonight and then I'll screw it in from the back side to anchor it and then uh, I'll cut another piece to the front side. Uh, but I'm gonna do that, uh, we'll do that next. Uh, it's getting dark out so we'll have to uh, do that tomorrow. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll just uh, continue the ride uh, next time we turn the camera on, or mic out. Alrighty, so let's see this, this glued in really good. I'm gonna get screwed in from the back side the one I got over here, I don't need to glue it in. I can hold this and and screw it in. So, and this doesn't quite fit like it did on the other one. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get these screwed in. Uh, then we'll come right back. All right, I got the front side done. This back side is kind of a pain. Um, let me stop this. Alrighty, uh, had to do battery change. So, got the screws in, we're just gonna screw them in. And we'll open it up, look on the inside, and make sure we did it right. Anyway, that's, uh, that's gonna be it for securing the uh, bottom piece of plywood down so we don't have to worry about that moving around yeah, it looks like everything's good everything's good on that side all right so we're going to go ahead and move to the next step which we'll be putting in these 110 outlets and putting in all of the uh 12 volt uh outlets. So I'm going to go ahead and reset and we'll come back when we get ready to do that.